Hi, I'm Makiko Tsuda. Right now, I'm in Yokohama in Kanagawa Prefecture at the Sky Perfect JSAT Yokohama Satellite Control Center. Sky Perfect JSAT operates 17 satellites at an altitude of 36,000 kilometers and is one of the biggest satellite communications operators in Asia. This time, I'll be learning about the crucial role Sky Perfect JSAT plays in the future of satellite communications in Japan. With me now is Yuki Ishige of Sky Perfect JSAT. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I understand that this Yokohama Satellite Control Center is holding a guided tour of the facility. What's the purpose? We wanted to show this facility and exchange information for the development of the space business in the future. What kind of companies are taking part? A wide range of companies that are interested in the space business, which is a field that's expected to grow significantly in the coming years, including electrical, machinery, finance, and manufacturing firms. Joining the tour are about 30 people from various fields who have come to learn about the latest developments in the space business and the possibilities for the future. They later toured the facility, getting explanations about the history of satellite development and the work carried out at the Satellite Control Center. This is the satellite control room. Currently, we're operating 13 geostationary satellites and one low-orbit satellite from this location. They're being overseen by just three people. In fact, many visitors are extremely surprised that a team of only three controllers are operating 13 satellites. This is the teleport operations room. When something goes wrong with the systems used by our customers, it's immediately detected and shown on the screen. The tour participants asked numerous questions, reflecting the strong interest in the space business. We spoke to some of the participants. Many aspects of our company are related to the space business, and we were looking for an opportunity to learn about the actual work that's carried out in the same field of space. That's why we decided to take part this time. The space business is set to grow in the future. It's an area that can be utilized in various fields. So our company also wants to explore how we can apply our own strengths to enter this business. In particular, the operation of antenna ground stations is something not many companies are involved in and is an aspect unique to SkyPerfect JSAT. We believe that lunar surface development is a very important factor in significantly transforming the Japanese economy. We want to understand what private companies need to do to become more active and what strategies they need to pursue. So we're very grateful to have an opportunity like this to network with various players. Space isn't a standalone business. We believe connecting space and the Earth, different industries, will give birth to new value. That trend is underway now, and various industries are showing interest. And if this kind of space-related sector keeps expanding, we expect space to become a thriving business. SkyPerfect JSAT is drawing on the strengths of the private sector and working to address a variety of social issues through initiatives such as promoting the sustainable utilization of space. The tour brought together companies from a wide variety of industries for a meaningful exchange of information. We look forward to the expansion of Japan's space business in the future.